Hi children, my kind advice for you children, enhance your knowledge in this free time. Listen children, now you take your assignment, we will check your answers. First, fill in the blanks. Based on the nature of stimuli, tropism can be classified. First, fill up answer, stimuli. Tropism is positive if it grows this towards the signal. Second question answer, positive. Third, fill up. Tropism is negative if it is away from the signal. Third, fill up. Answer is away. Fourth one, shoot of the plant moves towards the light. Answer is light. The shoots are positively phototrophic. Fifth one, the answer is positively phototrophic. Then answer the following. Take your answer. Write the different types of tropism. First one, phototropism. Movement of your plant pot towards light is called phototropism. Example, shoot of your plant. Geotropism. Movement of your plant in response to gravity is called geotropism. Example, root of your plant. Third one, hydrotropism. Movement of your plant or part of your plant towards water. Example, root of your plant. Thigmotrophism, movement of your plant pot due to touch. Example, climbing vines. Fifth one, hemotrophism, movement of your plant pot in response to chemicals. Example, growth of pollen tube in response to sugar present on the stigma. Yes, very good children. Listen children, some roots are negatively geotrophic and positively phototrophic. The very good example is Avicennia. Avicennia. This plant grows in marshy places. This plant grows in marshy places. It does not get enough amount of oxygen. The root grows above the soil. The primary root grows below the soil. It grows deep into the soil. From the primary root, the roots are growing above the soil and they have force called nematophos. These force are called nematophos. Now these roots are called positively phototrophic and negatively geotrophic. The first one is Avicennia. The first example is Avicennia. The second one is Rhizophora. Rhizophora is a halophyte. Halophyte means salt tolerant plant. This plant produces negatively geotrophic root. Negatively geotrophic root. This roots turn 180 degree upright for respiration. These plants grow in places where oxygen is deficient. Next is nastic movement. Nastic movement. Non directional, non directional, non 
plastic movement means non directional response of a plant response of a plant or part of a plant plastic movement means non directional response of a plant or part of a plant to stimulus based on the nature of stimuli plastic movements are classified into based on the nature of stimuli plastic movements are classified into photonasty movement of a part of a plant movement of a part of a plant in response to light in response to light is called photonasty the movement of your part of your plant in response to light is called photonasty example daraksakam officinal daraksakam officinal daraksakam officinal common name is dandelion it blooms in morning and closes in the evening the dandelion flower blooms in the morning and closes in the evening blooms in morning and closes in evening next example hypomia alba hypomia alba common name is moon flower common name is moon flower the flower opens in the night and closes during the day opens in the night and closes during the day hypomia alba moon flower the flower opens in the night and closes during the day the flower opens in the night and closes during the day the moon flower opens in the night and closes during the day
example hypomia alba moon flower next nastic movement is thickmo nasty thickmo nasty movement of a part of a plant in the expand to touch example mimosa pudica mimosa pudica touch me not plant movement of a part of a plant in the expand to touch Mimosa pudica is the example. Mimosa pudica folds leaves and droops when touch. Mimosa pudica folds it leaves and droops when touch it is also known as seismonasty the next example is the insectivorous plant the venus flytrap the venus flytrap The binomial name for Venus flytrap is Dione musifula. Dione musifula. The lamina. Lamina means leaf. The leaf. The lamina means leaf. The lamina on each side of the midrib. The lamina on each side of the midrib is modified into a lobe. The lamina on each side of a midrib is modified into a lobe. When an insect, when an insect sits on the inside of your lobe, sits on the inside of your lobe, it triggers a mechanism that closes the lobes quickly. When an insect sits on the inside of your lobe, it triggers a mechanism that closes the lobes quickly. The trapped insect is digested and absorbed. The trapped insect is digested and absorbed. This shows the Venus fly trap. This shows one of the fastest movement. The lamina on each side of the midrib is modified into a lobe. When an insect sits on the inside of a lobe, it triggers a mechanism that closes the lobes quickly. The trapped insect is digested and absorbed. It shows one of the fastest movement. Next nasty. Next nasty movement is thermonasty. Thermonasty. Movement of a part of a plant is associated with change in temperature is called change in temperature. 
is called thermonasty. The movement of a part of a plant is associated with change in temperature is called thermonasty. Example Dooley flops Dooley flops Dooley flops Bloom as the temperature increases. Dooley flops Bloom as the temperature increases. We will learn the differences between the tropic movements and nastic movements. First point, unidirectional response to the stimulus. Non-directional response to the stimulus. Second point, growth dependent movements. Here growth independent movements. What is independent movements? The movement does not depend on the growth of the plant. Third point, more or less permanent and irreversible. Permanent the plant. The shoot of the plant grows above the soil and the root of the plants grow below the soil. Then temporary or reversible. Reversible means touch me not plant falls when we touch it and regains its original state. Then found in all plants, found only in a few specialized plants. Fifth point, slow action, immediate action. We can observe quick response, that is immediate action. That's all children, you study the differences between the trophic movements and nastic movements thoroughly and write it in your notebook. Thank you children.